<laughs> all right. All right. Maybe we should just talk about something else. Uh, okay. Again, the New York Times have? today is reporting that it looks like Romney for VP is uh, leaning towards Tim Pawlenty. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Walk away, Glenn. Just, just walk away. <laughs> I can't be true. <laughs> Walk away from the yeah, microphone, walk Glenn. No, please. Just walk away. And he will blow his voice out. Yeah, he <laughs> no, will. No, stop. He will. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. It won't be an aneurysm we have to worry about with him. No. He won't be able to speak the rest the of the show day. show is about to be over. As <laughs> <laughs> Glenn is the... Now halfway across uh, the studio, on his knees. He's now on mm-hmm. his knees mm-hmm. uh, screaming. <laughs> Now, see, the problem is he doesn't seem to be a he fan. He doesn't seem to be a fan of Tim Pawlenty. At least in this particular <laughs> role. Um. <laughs> what is it? You just do, you don't want what? two moderates on the ticket? Two former liberals on the GOP oh, ticket? No, start, don't, is, start is, is, don't start with me with two moderates. <laughs> so what you want is a ticket? What you what you want is a ticket uh-huh. with both a Massachusetts conservative. Mm-hmm. And a Minnesota conservative? Mm-hmm. That's the roots you... of all conservatism, Minnesota and Massachusetts. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Romney. Romney. Uh, you know, maybe you have polling. Maybe you have divine inspiration. I don't know. But let me tell you the inspiration from Glenn. Lose. You will lose. See, I, I think they, they probably are looking at it and seeing, A, he's not the type of guy who will hurt you, say something crazy. He can handle the press pretty well. Uh, he's going to be able to come off and, and, and give a less offensive I'm going to blow up my voice if I do it again. So would you do it for me? <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <laughs> but that's what, I, that's what their calculation is, Paul right? Paul Ryan would do all those things for him. Paul, and he's no, yeah. more Ryan, conservative. No, Paul Ryan's Ryan would... the guy pushing people off the edge of uh, oh, yeah. cliffs and wheelchairs. Yeah. I mean, that's what they're going to bring. I mean, with you can handle that. So argument. what? We just elected mm-hmm. the most liberal man to ever oh. be in the Senate of the United States. And then he, he, he did Mr. Hairplug, Mr. I've got union members currently working on the restructuring of my head mm. so it doesn't quite look like cornrows have been planted in my head. Mr. Joe Biden, are you kidding me? No, look, I, you know, I agree with you on this. I think Ryan would be great. But I think when you're talking about the internal voices in Romney's head in this internal campaign. Internal voices, here's the one. Mm. Mitt, it's your father. Don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> That's the only thing he ever hears. Get past your father's failures. Look, may I say, Mitt, are you ready to go into the cave? Right there in the swamp? Go into the cave. Fight what you're most afraid of. <laughs> Mitt, I am your father. <laughs> I made one mistake in a campaign in 1968, and you won't let it go. <laughs> let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go. How is it? So you think it's a response to, like, one big mistake in the campaign ro- sunk his father, yeah. and you think he doesn't I think if, I that. think Mitt Romney, and this is the good thing about Mitt Romney. The good thing about Mitt Romney is he doesn't make mistakes. The good thing about Mitt Romney, he'll never say anything that will embarrass us. The good thing about Mitt Romney is... Um, he is, um, I'm running out of good things. Uh, he is man of character. He's a man of character. He really is a man of character. The bad thing about Mitt Romney is he is afraid of his own shadow. He is afraid of, of being bold. I really believe that he's afraid of being bold. Be bold, Mitt. These times call for bold action. And if you put another liberal already, nobody trusts that you are a conservative. Yeah, but he just thinks mm. there's there's enough power in the name Barack Obama to bring out conservatives, and he's going to. Nobody gets elected by what you're not going to do, even when it's Barack Obama. I mean, even when I mean, honestly, look, if he put on the, this if is he the, put on, you know, some put Condoleezza puppet. Rice on. I know what I said on Friday, but put Condoleezza Rice like she's on. Better than no. She's better than Palenti. She's better than Palenti. She'll fire some him. people up. At least. Yeah, she will. Know, she would. She at will. At least it's an exciting pick. And she can play the piano. She's yeah, she's very she's good a concert piano. pianist. And she and, knows uh, the I NFL. Mean, and, and no, what she really does know is Russia. And Russia is going to be a very, 
very bad enemy. But honestly, if, if he put, uh, uh, I mean, you were saying you would vote for your shoe over Barack Obama. If he I put your say, shoe as VP, but you'd what you, still vote what for Romney. What you've done is just put a shoe and a high-heeled shoe next to it. It's like, I can't, I don't can't wear both of those shoes. <laughs> I, just, I just think that if you're, there's definitely a uh, a guy in the campaign. Put a shoehorn in there. Just put a shoehorn. I'm not asking for another shoe. I'm asking for a shoehorn. Help me into the shoe, Mitt. Help me into this shoe. You know, when you buy a car, when you, when you add one of your people, buy one of your wife's many, many cars, did not somebody in the car dealership say, what can I do to get you into this car? Help me. Help me help you, please. Help me help you you don't need to be an extremist you don't need to be crazy you don't need to do anything help me help you please please Matt. don't put somebody else on the ticket that you know loved global warming please please don't put i don't i know i've talked to tim Valenti. i believe him he had to do the things he had to do for for uh, minnesota and you had to do the things you had to do for Massachusetts, give me somebody who did the right thing somewhere. There's this, help me help you. <sighs> <laughs> Listen to your feelings. <sighs> You've just mixed your movie metaphors yeah, there. Many, but, um, yeah. Not in the end. That's in right. the end. Uh, son, uh, you have already saved me. <laughs> How's that one? <laughs> not, not save great. your father. It wasn't great. There's still something mm. good in your father. <laughs> still save him. Mm-hmm. You can save him. <laughs> Pull the mask off him. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Save him. He would say, uh, anybody but Valenti. Uh, anybody but Valenti. Uh, anybody but Valenti. Uh, I don't <laughs> think that's a... It's, but you know there's a strategist saying, look. Yes. But Barack Obama has the same brought strategists us the cons- that keep losing for the Republicans. They're yeah. all the same damn strategists who keep losing for us. But they're reacting, I think, inaccurately to the Sarah mm-hmm. Palin thing. And they're saying, well, Palin became the whole story. This needs to be about Obama. If you make it about your VP pick, then you're not going to be able to focus on on, on uh, Obama. I bet that's exactly what they're thinking. You know that's happening. Exactly I'm not saying I agree with thinking. it, but you know that's then happening. Then pick somebody else vanilla from someplace else that actually has a spine. Spine. Paul Ryan. Spine. Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan has a spine. There's no doubt mm-hmm. about that. Paul I mean, Ryan. In Wisconsin, saying the things I'll that he says. Take Bill, the chiropractor. Bill the chiropractor. Okay, Bill. I like Take Bill. Bill the chiropractor. He's pretty good. He's got a Bill's spine. Bill's good. Mm-hmm. 